Hello guys and welcome to a small special video about force feedback settings on Le Mans Ultimate. I often receive comments or questions regarding my force feedback as other players do not feel the same fidelity, do not feel the same great force feedback that I'm feeling. So here are some tips and some tricks and some setting advices for your force feedback controller. First of all, we want to head into Steam and on Steam you are going into the Le Mans Ultimate area, click on the properties, get onto the controller and very importantly you put the disable Steam input into this setting here. Usually on use default settings the game is talking to your device via the Steam input and then the Steam input goes into your controller and there the force feedback is being yeah, computed and calculated and then sent out to your wheelbase. However, if you disable the Steam input, the Windows controller or the force feedback controller from the game is directly talking to your direct drive wheels, directly talking to your wheelbase. So you may want to make sure that this setting is disabled to get a more clear, more pronounced and a more direct force feedback. The difference might be very subtle, but it might be just enough for you to feel an enhanced uh, force feedback. Please note though, this setting may not work for a Logitech or for a Thrustmaster or for a Fanatec controller, as those controllers using their own software, using their own approach and their own code to compute force feedback. However, if you're running on an OSW, on a Simu Cube, uh, on any other direct drive, this setting might be helpful. Additionally, here you can see my settings in the Simu Cube. So I'm using a 900 degree steering range at an overall strength of 100%. As explained in another force feedback video, you always want to have 100% overall strength in order to have your wheelbase developing at full force. Down there you can see the filters that I have turned on. This center frequency comes from um, analyzing where a flat spot or a curb may create some over, over pronounced rattling on my, on my steering wheel. So on 33 hertz with an attenuation of 5.1 decibel, I have a filter set to filter out any flat spots or to filter out too strong of a rumble effects from the curbs. And last but not least, you can find my game settings here. The game settings will be set for every car the same. Um, I do not know exactly use constant steering force, I think that's something also for Logitech, Fanatec and uh, Thrustmaster wheels, I have it off. Anything else is always being set the same. The force feedback strength may depend on the car, some cars have a bit stronger FFB such as the, uh, the LMP2 car or also I think the Glickenhaus um, on, on, the, on the hyper cars. Any other setup or any other car I run with exactly these settings. Collision strength, I put that to zero just for safety reasons. If I crash into a barrier, my wheel doesn't get jolted, therefore I'm not getting injured on my, on my wrists as much. However, minimum steering torque, force feedback smoothing, everything zero so that you get the clearest feedback possible from your steering wheel. Last but not least, Please note, some wheelbases, such as my OSW, require an inverted force feedback for the force feedback um, pulling towards the center. So if your force feedback is pulling towards the outside, towards the maximum of a steering angle, whether that's left or right, you may want to revert on this force feedback. If it's on, put it off. If it's off, put it on, and then see whether the issue still resumes. Guys. I hope that this video has helped you with your force feedback feeling in Le Mans Ultimate. Would appreciate if you put it down in the comments area below whether this was helpful for you, whether you found something out while dealing again with your force feedback setting and overall whether the tips here have been any benefit to you. Guys, I hope you've appreciated this video. Please give it a thumbs up and if you really loved it, then make sure to also hype the video on, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel, ring the bell, and come back for more Le Mans Ultimate tips, tricks, news, and tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye-bye.